I will, and I thank you for uh, allow uh, for not having a limit on the time. Uh, partly because um, I'm learning so much from listening to previous testifiers. Chairman Parker, Commissioner Mercer, and members of the Board of Environmental Protection. I'm Alice Bolstridge from Presque Isle. I, born, I was born and grew up in Portage Lake near Bald Mountain. That's my affiliation in this um, hearing. I thank you for this opportunity to speak in opposition to these proposed rules. I oppose any open pit mining in Maine unless or until the technology, and it has to be, for me, technology that I understand or can come to understand through my own research efforts because I'm not a scientist. Um, unless or until the technology advances sufficiently to protect the environment, I will remain opposed to any open pit mining. I've been researching this issue for several years, and I find no evidence unrelated to profit industry, interests of the mining industry that such mining can be done without irremediable damage to the environment. Recent catastrophes in Brazil, Colorado, and Mount Holly in Canada demonstrate that there's no way to allow open pit mining and still protect the environment. Modern mines do fail with catastrophic results, even with modern technology. Some features of these rules that I oppose are the following, and I'm awfully grateful for the previous testifiers who could give you uh, the scientific uh, support for what I, uh, for what I oppose. Uh, I'm opposed to um, the rules that, do, don't, uh, that are not sufficient to cover environmental disasters and leave taxpayers to pay for perpetual maintenance allowing mine operators to cover mine waste with water that's much riskier environmentally than dry waste management, allowing mine, mining on public reserved lands and other state-owned lands. I would really like to be able to offer constructive uh, comments about how you can write rules that will allow mining and still protect the environment but I haven't been able to find any evidence that you can do that. I understand that you say the proposed rules are needed to address inconsistencies between the existing rules and the statutes that could hamper the department's ability to thoroughly review a mining application. I understand the 2012 I also understand that 2012 law says that 1991 rules remain in effect until there are new rules. And if that is what has been preventing mining up to this point, then I'd rather have them in place than new rules that, that I believe will damage the environment. I do see problematic inconsistencies between environment needs and desires of corporate mining interests. As one Irving advocate put it in a public forum, the protection rules of 1991 make it too onerous for the Canadian corporation to mine Bald Mountain. I'm happy with that. And the DEP a purpose to support a sustainable economy stated on Commissioner Mercer's webpage, is not compatible with in inevitable damage from mining. These rules would put at risk a rustic sustainable economy of outdoor sports, agriculture, and forestry that are all dependent on clean water. And uh, previous testifiers, uh, 
comments about the human, what, what it does to human beings, just furthers my, uh, deepens my opposition. Far more long-term sustainable jobs would be at risk than could be gained by a mine with a temporary life. And I hear comments that people from Aroostook County are in favor of um, the mining rules that would allow mining. I would like to see the evidence that that is true because from my observation about uh, citizens of Aroostook County, the more they learn about it, the more people become frightened of mining and what it will do to um, lifestyle and to health of the environment and to human health. So I thank you very much for allowing this testimony. Any questions?